at Kings Island for Winterfest, but you want to know where to get warm, well, you've come to the right place because we're going to find all the warmest spots here at Kings Island. Some of them for pay and some of them for free. I hope you're ready and I hope you're excited. Let's go. First on our list of places where you can get warm here at Kings Island for an additional fee is immediately the snow globes. If you grab these, obviously they're they're locked off for a reason because I'm poor. <laughs> so you can get into these um, and each one is a certain fee. Um, I think you can have eight people in them, but I'm not totally sure if it's eight or if it's six. But either way, it is a dividable type of a thing. Like you could divide the cost among you and your friends um, or maybe a couple different families, something like that. But there is a limit to the amount of people that can use them. But that is one option to be able to get a little bit warmer. And you're right underneath the weenie of Kings Island for it. Another thing, and these are all over the park, is these little lamps. They are very warm. Um, and send the heat straight down to you uh, through this, uh, these little gas uh, kerosene lamps. Um, they're very, very warm. There's even a spot where you can put your drink if you would like to. Definitely nice. Definitely good for a moment when you just need to warm up your head just a little bit. Like if your ears are cold, get that. Um, another thing that is a helpful tip for some heat is bring hot hands. I always have hot hands in my pockets. That way I can grab them as quickly as I can. Right now it is not as cold as it will be this winter, but it will get way, way worse and it's already pretty bad. So make sure to grab some hot hands, find some different ways to really warm yourself up. All right, now the VIP stuff is up and there is heat back here so we're going to talk about that so yeah you've got some nice good heat sources here and over here also so even during the winter time the vip lounge is an option for you if you have the prestige pass now i'm not sure why but they wouldn't accept my uh, parking pass yesterday i didn't try today i found a good spot and just stuck with it because i didn't want to waste time but so here is one other place where you can heat up a little bit here during Winterfest. If you wanna find something to eat and bring it over here, find a nice little seat close by one of the heat sources or even move a chair close to it. Yeah, perfect. Oh yeah, that feels good. Yeah, so these are just nice little ways to be able to keep yourself a little bit warmer on cold nights here at Winterfest. Just a few little tips and tricks to help you out. <laughs> But this is one of the paid things. You do have to have a prestige pass. And if you have a Cedar Point pass, then you would also have to have the all access pass um, for this next season if you're using that. We do also have chips and water here. I am gonna grab just a little cup of water. It's winter, so I don't really need much anymore. <laughs> that is the nice thing about winter is you don't dehydrate nearly as fast. Here we are at Enrique's or Enrique's, I'm not really sure which one it is. And come in through this door right here. Although it does say exit, I don't think it matters though. I can already hear the music. couple different ones here also icy winter breeze chili cranberry delight but then they have santa's hat also and the holly jolly those are all uh what i had earlier but those are different and then the cranberry ginger mimosa christmas mule and merry mistletoe are all different also so that's the mimosa on the right and then the what's the one on the left the chili cranberry chili cranberry okay cool Love the upside down Christmas tree. Great. Also, come see Kathy. She's awesome. 
Thank you very much. You. All right, now we are talking about being in warm places here. And in this place, we are in Enrique's slash the Mercado. The Mercado, like right above us right now, is the sign for Mercado. Um, so right here, it's already warm in here. It's incredibly warm in there. And there's performances that go on in there also. I think it's actually Hi-Fi Honey. Um, and she does Christmas sing-alongs. So play that B-roll right now. Um, but yeah, there's there's tons of heat lamps in there, lots of spaces to really keep you warm inside there. Inside here, it's very warm also. Okay, so Kathy said ice, icy winter breeze was her favorite. It's a refreshing mix of Minute Maid lemonade, Sprite, and blue raspberry syrup with a snowy rim, spiked with vodka gin, <laughs> vodka gin and rum. It is sweet. It has like that sweet, um, like artificially sweet flavor to it to some degree because i think probably because of the minute maid but beyond that and maybe because of the sprite too um but beyond that you get this really good um, bitter with it so it balances it really really nicely uh, this is not just a normal drink so so the alcohol in it gives it like a nice balance of a little bit of bitter And then you add the sugar rim onto it, and it really makes it a nice uh, taste to it. So I really like that a lot. Um, so. It's like an electric lemonade. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Like an electric lemonade. Or of course, for free, you can hang out here. You can just sit here. You can grab something to eat at one of the restaurants, um, or you can listen to live music here. Also, there are tons of different options for inside of this space and there's live music that plays here also. Also, if you're looking for some warmth, this is another way to grab some warmth here. Come to one of these fire areas um, and grab a little bit of heat around the fire here outside um, of the Mercado. It's definitely a nice place to come and to warm up and hang out for just a little bit if you need to. So these cold winter nights are very survivable. <laughs> There's also tons more still coming up of places where you can go and kind of get a little bit of heat when the days are pretty cold. Now, another place to stay warm is right next to this giant snowman. <laughs> Come on in here and you have another area filled with tons of heat lamps. And it's an enclosed space. So it's a little bit warmer one way or another. There's also the heat from inside in there um, that you can get too. Now, this is not my favorite chicken, nor is it my favorite place to eat. So I wouldn't really recommend this restaurant location, but there is plenty of space here to kind of warm up if you want to sit here and uh, get a little bit refreshed during your day at King's Island. Now this line looks deceptively long because it is very long, but it's also a massive, massive theater inside. Definitely coming in here, you can definitely get some warmth. Um, this is a great place to be able to come in, enjoy the heat of this building. And actually right now, my, like my face is really, really hot. So there's definitely a lot of heat to be had. Um, it's nice to be able to come in here and not have it be incredibly hot and to be able to warm up after you've been outside for a very long time. It's also, of course, fun to be able to come see a show. So one of my favorite things at Kings Island is watching the entertainment. Really, at any theme park is watching the entertainment. And uh, this is definitely a fun part for me right now is to watch the, watch the entertainment. Um, but while I can watch the entertainment and I can sit in a warm spot, definitely a double win for me. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
back up to its original level. What do you say? Yeah. Oh, oh, and I know just who can help. Ah. Yeah. You! Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> If you want to find a place where you can warm up, this is something in particular that Kings Island has that Cedar Point does not, is this kind of indoor auditorium that is uh, controlled as far as the weather goes. It's fantastic, it's a great place to come, and taking advantage of being able to come and enjoy this kind of space is definitely something that we don't get everywhere and that I'm very thankful for here at Kings Island. Another place to warm up is Flight of Fear. I already see them at the door, which tells me it's a decently long line. Not huge, but decently long, which tells me I can do the single rider line instead. So let's do that. So you go in through the fast lane to do single rider. And this is only during winter fest, not during all the time. This would normally be a fast lane line. Yeah, I don't want to wait in that line. Come right into here and ask them about it. Now, I did forget one thing as far as heat goes, and that is the Fest House. Uh, you can go into Fest House and get substantially warmer in there for their show. Um, I did show that on the last video that I had, um, which was kind of an overview of Kings Island's Winterfest. So you can go check that out there, but I did forget about it in this video. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. But thank you guys so much for hanging out today. Tell me down below where your favorite place is to get warm here at Kings Island for Winterfest. You're not only helping me out by adding to the algorithm, but you're also helping other people out who can see what you've said down below and they can go use your spot. So let them know uh, down below where the best places are to be able to get warm here at Kings Island. Thank you guys so much for hanging out today. I love being able to hang out with you guys here and I'm already missing Kings Island because I'm about to leave. But thank you guys so much for hanging out and let's go. Also, be cool people and press that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, like 75% of you aren't subscribed anyway. So press that subscribe button and come join us um, here because then you become cool people with that subscribe button. So you want to be cool people, right? So press that subscribe button. <laughs>
right, let's go. Hey, thanks for watching. I release theme park related videos at least a couple times a week. So press that subscribe button if you made it this far. Also check out similar videos in the playlist to the right or find my newest video to the left. Thanks again and let's go.